Hello everyone. I hope you haven't just trusted me in the exam, but now you need to trust on me for learning this uh, basics and necessary details about the layers of atmosphere, as I have just told you in the last video. Let us move from the down to up. Okay, the first that is lithosphere. Lithosphere means land where we people are uh, present. We people are just living. Okay, lithosphere. Okay, here the temperature is fluctuating at the different places, different temperatures are there. You can just find in India, we do have the normal temperature according to the seasons. In another western countries having the low temperatures. So it is just fluctuating according to the places like equator have the very high temperature. Poles are the torrid zones or the frigid zone you can say having the very less temperature. Means very cold places are there. So it is depending upon that. And we people are living. If you will find that what are the things are just present in the troposphere. So we people are living. Lithosphere and troposphere. Like um, animals, the vehicles are running. That is the okay layer of the earth. The topmost layer of the earth. Okay. Next, troposphere is present from the zero. That is sea level. You can just uh, understand here. This is zero kilometer means sea level. Sea level to 10 kilometer. We do have a troposphere. And after that, we do have stratosphere. Trust me in the exam history representing stratosphere. Having the distance from the troposphere that is 10, uh, 10 to 50 kilometer. Means after 10 kilometer, you will go 50 kilometer above it. Means 40 kilometer above the troposphere, you will find the stratosphere. And in between them, there is very important layer. Okay. That is ozonosphere. Ozonosphere. Ozone. Ozone layer. That is having the chemical formula O3. Okay, which is present and what is the importance and what is the advantage of the presence of this ozone layer? Actually, it is protecting us and it is just uh, preventing the ultraviolet rays which is coming from the sun. Which is coming from the sun, that is UV rays. Okay, it is very harmful rays. If it will directly come to our skin, it may cause the skin cancer. If it is falling above the crops, crops may die and cause a different kind of a burn diseases on the animals also so it is very harmful risk and this filter layer we can say it is a filter layer that is ozone layer which is protecting us to just get away okay next we do have stratosphere having the range 10 to 50 kilometer and the temperature is increasing in this layer as you will move at the stratosphere having the very less temperature but as you will move upward as you will move above and you will find that the temperature is decreasing from, uh, sorry the temperature is increasing from minus 60 degrees celsius to zero degrees celsius and uh, the clouds they are just forming the stratosphere aircraft the aeroplanes which is just uh, running above the clouds which is also present in this layer it is not mo moving above the 50 kilometer because it may cause dangers and radio signals through which we are communicate with each other through the mobile phones and all. These signals are just passes through this layer only that is the stratosphere. Now after that trust me, ME, me for mesosphere. Having the range altitude height from the 50 to 80 kilometer. Again we do have ozone sphere and 50 to 80 kilometer we do have mesosphere. Mesosphere having the temperature minus 85 degrees celsius means as means at first it is just decreased temperature then it is increased temperature now again it is decreasing means having very cold and the presence meteors meteors only the student who will understood those who have gone through the class 8 the chapter the night sky or the planets and different names uh, of this chapter okay meteors jisko hindi mein tutta tara bhi log kehte actually these are, these are the rocks which is present above the sky okay and uh, which is uh, coming towards the gravitation of the earth and during the arrival it may burn due to the friction of the air and leads to the streak of the light and that streak of the light is said to the meteors so generally mesosphere mein hi wo streak of light dikhai deta hai logo ko that is present uh, between 50 to 80 kilometers on the sky okay next we have Thermosphere having the range around 80 to 700 kilometer means if you will see the thickest layer of the atmosphere that is thermosphere okay it is present from the 80 to 700 kilometer and having the temperature range around 
1500 degree celsius means you can imagine that how rapidly the temperature is increased from minus 85 degree celsius to suddenly 1500 de degree celsius it is not moving suddenly but it is increasing as you will move upward the temperature is increased and as you will go above the temperature will remain increasing because you are going towards the sun or away from the sun in sun, uh, rays are there okay that's why the temperature is increasing and here spacecrafts are moving actually which are just um, send or you can say fighter uh, planes and spacecrafts uh, uh, you can just say which are just moving for the another planets and all okay and the last but not least that is exosphere present above the 700 km from the sea level of the earth that is exosphere having very high temperature 2000 degrees celsius and the presence of a depth that is satellite now you can imagine the here the gravitational force is also going to be okay in the of the earth and above the gravitation uh, force of the earth we are just sending the satellites which is revolving around the earth for and it have various advantages you know better that for the communication purpose you are using internet you are just watching me right now on the youtube means you are just uh, taking the help of the satellites and all okay so i hope you have just learned once you just go through it and revise it that sea level zero degree celsius that is lithosphere lithosphere troposphere 10 kilometer then troposphere to stratosphere 50 kilometer stratosphere to mesosphere 80 kilometer then 80 kilometer to 700 kilometer in between thermosphere and after that exosphere is present now what about the temperature that temperature is depending upon the place in the lithosphere then it is decreased as you will move above the altitude minus 50 degrees celsius then it is again increasing in the stratosphere zero degrees celsius then it is decrease in the mesosphere then increase increase and increasing regularly throughout the atmosphere as you will move over the sky and these are the things present like uh, clouds and aircraft this type of uh, simple multiple choice questions asked in the examination okay that uh, where in which layer aircrafts are moving in which layer clouds are present in which layer you are just watching the streak of light of meteors and in which layer is spacecraft and uh, craft are moving so you must have to learn according to this one this one. i hope you have just got this complete um, knowledge of the layers of atmosphere thank you everyone uh, i hope you are just enjoying and you are learning by enjoying this video and be continue remain I'll just come in the next video with another different interesting topic so that it will help you in your future examinations and in your uh, enhancing your knowledge also. Thank you.